Wow, this place has really changed. Wasn't there a science walk over it? Hey, what is that building? That used to be the Art and Craft building. Huh? Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> oh, you still remember me? Oh my god. It's been so many years. I remember your face, but I'm so sorry. I can't really remember your name. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, I remember. The pineapple from the pizza girl. Right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's so nice to finally see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so you got the letter as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a reunion? I didn't know they still did those here, but here we are. Well, well, how have things been going for you? What happened after you left? I know we sort of moved away, so that's why we didn't keep contact, and I really think we should have, but... I'm still really happy to see you. So, yeah, I, what's happened? Oh my, a lot. Well, same for me. Really? So that's what you're doing now? It's so funny, because do you remember when, you, when we were going to university? Yeah, and they would just continue to bombard us with what are you gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and it was just completely stressed all of us out and now you're doing something completely different it's actually so crazy how the education system does that yeah and you won't even think anything of it because you just think this is how everyone else is doing it but then you get to uni and uh, yeah i know it's so mad like I got into uni and I was like, what am I doing? Like, literally. And now I'm doing something kind of related, but still could be completely different. And, and you being a prime example that you don't need to force kids into specific boxes when they're so young. I mean, how old were we? We didn't even know what we wanted to do. It, I distinctly remember we have to write like personal statements for UCAS, right? And I had to write literally like seven of them. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, I'm going to do midwifery. No, I'm going to do medicine. No, I'm going to do pharmacy. No, I'm going to do like all sorts of different courses, fam. Oh my God. And oh, I know. Well, how was it for you though? I don't. How many courses did you apply for again? <sighs> yeah, I know. A ridiculous number, isn't it? Oh my god. Well, well, I I'm really happy that you finally got to, to do something that you cared about. And I'm happy that I'm figuring out what I want to do as well. And uh, I'm so happy that, like, we actually got jobs because I was, I remember thinking, how on earth are we gonna get a job? I mean, I, I, come on, I, I know you. Like, how are you gonna get a job? I mean, not that I don't trust you, Pineapple and Pizza Girl, but. <laughs> well, that's just life, isn't it? So, where are you now? Do you live around the school or did you move somewhere? Mm-hmm. Well, so, kind of far off. Wasn't it a trek to come here? Ah, uh, well, helps that we've all got our driver's license. <laughs> we can go anywhere we want. Uh, do you remember passing the driving test? Because I do, I remember how mm, relief, I remember the relief I felt straight after it, like, oh my god. It was all building up to this peak moment, and I felt relief. It was amazing. <laughs> what about you, though? 
<laughs> Five times. Damn. I I S U. <laughs> Hopefully your series S didn't run out, did it? <laughs> Thank goodness. Because I remember mine was like on the verge of running out. And I was like, oh my god, I need to put this test. <laughs> so I did. And I passed it. <laughs> yeah. Well, where do I live? Uh, not too far away from here. Yeah. I don't really think. I moved around a bit. When I got out of my parents' house, you know how they like kind of stuff you in for it? They want to keep you. I mean, if I had a kid, that's what I would want to do as well. <laughs> just want to keep you to yourself. To, to themselves. Yeah. So I just um, moved out somewhere far away, like a different city for a bit. Um, yeah, I stayed there for a bit when I was a student and then I came back. Um, yeah, because I realised, okay, now that I've separated myself from my parents, I don't mind coming like a little bit closer to them. You get what I mean? I've like had my independence, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Yeah, so uh, that's it basically. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Hmm? Do I remember a sleepover? I remember we had tons of sleepovers. Like, literally tons of them. Hmm? Oh, a specific one. Uh, well, what happened in that specific one? Sis, every single sleepover we had was about boys, I assure you. <laughs> romance movies and that still doesn't whittle it down but I think I might know the one you're talking about uh, tell me something else that happened hey isn't this a sleepover where you became the pineapple on pizza girl yeah cause we were gonna order a pizza <laughs> and you said pineapple on pizza <laughs> yeah yeah I remember that I remember that what did I even say to you back then Ooh, let me try and remember. Something like, are you seriously taking pineapple on pizza? Like, that's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember that sleepover now. Ooh, 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 and I remember this, uh, this guy came to the door. Oh yeah, and I distinctly remember we would fight over the pizza boy, right? <laughs> yeah, because if, because like, you're like, Oh, some Asian guy with like a beautiful middle part and face mask. I don't know what it is, but just Asian guys in face masks are amazing. Asian guys in face masks. Oh my god, I I was just in love. Like the way that their eyes. Oh my god, I could so. I can so remember that. So remember me doing that. <laughs> I know you felt the same way. I thought we were fighting over that delivery boy. <laughs> oh, the poor boy. We never did figure out which school he went to, though, didn't we? Well, I wonder why he's doing what he's doing now. He was like two or three years older than us, so well, maybe he's already done his reunion and he's doing way better things now. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure, why not? I, 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 I would totally be down to like go get pizza and relive those memories. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about the sleepover anyways? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't know the same sleepover, but uh... Yeah, um, I'm starting to remember what happened now, so I just remember like, I was gonna go, I, I forgot my sleeping mattress, and we had to sleep in your bed, right? I mean like, we'd normally do that, but then, yeah, <laughs> and well, that kiss really that was my first kiss te te technically I think 
well, it depends. I wasn't really like expecting it, so I like call it like a half kiss, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm starting to remember this now. And I just didn't talk to you for a bit after it. And oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We were all like young and childish and yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's like I was just trying to but honestly, I, I think I was just like starting to like things in like my head was starting to click. And I just remember this one time, um yeah, the camping trip, and we got there, and um, I remember, like, we were sitting on some hill or something, and, like, ah, oh, yes, that's when, <laughs> that's when we, well, talked through all this out, didn't we? Yeah, well, I mean, the time when I think I really started to figure things out was I remember like some weird bonding exercise we had to do y yeah like some point after the kiss like the first kiss and then uh before like the camping trip there was some point in the middle where like a drama teacher what's her name this is something no she's like tall and yeah Miss Harris yeah and we would just sit there um and literally, we just, yeah, we had to sit there and, like, do some questionable exercises. Yeah, um, like, looking into each other's eyes and stuff. I, I, I don't exactly remember, but I was just thinking, and I was like, oh my god, I have really messed this up, haven't I? I mean you were my best friend at that point and I hadn't spoken to you for well I don't know but it it was a long time to me Ugh, and I'm really sorry that was really mature of me I shouldn't have not done that I, I mean even if I did need some space I, I could have said something and I, I'm really sorry I didn't I, I'm sorry yeah, it was all years in the past, but still, I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. And, well, at the end of, um, all of that, I remember, I remember how it ended, though. It had a happy ending, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, and you became my first girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and then that, that was when we had, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the official first kiss. <laughs> oh, wow, that was awesome. Like, the first one we had before, technically, when people ask me, do I have my first kiss, I say, I don't recall that story. I recall us sitting there on that rock on the camping trip. That is why I recall it was my first kiss. And it was a lovely memory. And and I was so happy I managed to share it with someone I really cared about. Even though I was kind of mean to her, but I am so grateful she took me back. Well, what do you think about that which happened then? <laughs> Was I, how good of a girlfriend was I? Was I a stellar girlfriend? <laughs> well, I know I was one of your first ones too, wasn't I? <laughs> mm, yeah, we had a lot of fun, went on a lot of cute dates, you know? But then when we left school, we just, it was a shame we couldn't talk more. And I know we had to cut it off. But it's, it was a mutual agreement, wasn't it? And anyways, I'm still really glad that I had that experience. You know, it's better to have it when I was young rather than, like, I am now. Like, kind of a fully formed adult. And yeah, I'm just really grateful for the time we spent together. Because it was 
amazing. So, I know that was like years ago, but uh, do you know anyone else from school? I mean, well, have you dated anyone else from school? I don't think you would though, because we've all kind of like went our separate ways, but yeah. Uh, oh, really? Hmm. I didn't even know I went to this school. Oh yeah, 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 I remember one. Like the short one with like the weird hair, yeah. Why'd you date that guy? Okay. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. <laughs> Each to their own, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, so that was like what? Like a while after you left? Oh, alright, alright. So, I mean... Anything other than that, or? Oh, it was like a short term thing, like a couple of months. Right, cool, cool. Well, yeah, some relationships could just be like that, and some people are just really different. I mean, come on, you were the English really short guy. Duh, like, it's <laughs> I mean, I'm so sorry to all, all of the, the short kings out there. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I wonder what that guy's doing now. He was always a really popular guy, wasn't he? No idea what you could be doing. I, I mean, I don't see him here, so good luck to him, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh, you've been single this whole time? Well, I guess it's time fun to do some soul searching, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, oh, what about me? Well, me and my partner have been together for the past, uh, uh, let me think, before they catch my ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, about uh, two years, something like that, yeah. I mean, we were friends from work for a bit, and then we slowly, like, became closer over a year, and then we started dating, so... Yeah, um, I think we might be moving in together soon. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I guess that's been my my life. Yeah. I mean, um, we've always talked about having children, and well. You know how I am with kids, they're adorable. <laughs> and hopefully, and hopefully when the time comes and we're both ready, maybe you'll see some mini Kalefis running around soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just take them around to their auntie's house. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and well, will you babysit for free or? <laughs> well, as I say, it is wonderful to see you again, and I really, really happy to see you, and I'm so happy to see you thriving and. Stuff like that, you know, and... There is this one question I have, though. So, I recall the first one which started off this entire thing, you know, and you helped me figure out a lot of stuff by myself, <laughs> to be honest. Um, that first sleepover. I remember, I, I thought you were, like, you were staying up really late to do your work because in the mornings you would I remember like you would spend a lot of your time doing something and and no it was a little bit suspicious yeah like um 
then you call me the next day and ask about the homework and I'm like didn't you just do the homework I mean we've literally had a week to do it like I, I thought you were just doing it and apparently not and I, I thought like I thought you had a crush on a boy yeah that was it. I thought you had a crush on a boy at some point what was his name a, a, something we can see like C Callum or C Connor I, th I think one of them yeah yeah so I, I thought that like I thought you were making like a gift or something to give to Connor or something like that and I I, I don't know so so what were you doing I never actually did ask oh I see so how come you never told me this so you were making a prom dress really I mean, I do remember prom. I remember telling you how lovely your dress was, but I didn't know you made it. Or did I just forget that completely? Oh. Interesting. So it was nothing to do with that boy? You didn't even like that boy? Oh, yeah, well, you like me because oh it's all coming together now so you wanted to surprise me by making a dress oh so you want to upstage me huh all right all right i see i see <laughs> oh i see i see so you just didn't want to tell anyone about it you just wanted to come to surprise everyone in the prom including me your best friend? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. But wow. That took a lot of talent. And that dress, I remember it was beautiful and blue. Wow. It was stunning. Hmm. Huh. Well, that has tied up a few loose ends. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always wondered, but I never asked. Well, and now you're here right now, and it's mad. Well, like I say, it is wonderful to see you again, as I keep mentioning. And I would love to talk more about school and stuff, and reminisce about the past yeah sure i i'm totally down hell yeah totally down uh what is the name of that pizza place should we go <laughs> imagine if we see that guy and how he's working as the boss of that pizza place <laughs> yeah yeah sure let's go i mean any of No, not really. I didn't recognize any of them either. All right, let's go. I'm so happy for us to be friends again. Clevy. <laughs>